Welcome back to The Outside Show. This segment is called Snake Oil or Science. Now, athletes have been using a substance to either ingest orally or put on topically, and this substance is sodium bicarbonate. Zoe, do you see this in ultra running? Yeah, actually, ultra running and track, cross country, any kind of high performance running, runners have been doing what's called soda loading since the 80s. It's hmm. been studied since 1984 in runners specifically, hmm. and it's actually something that's so known to increase performance that um, the anti-doping agency of the world has actually said like, hey, we need to sort of yeah. talk about this. It's been a restricted activity um, because it's been shown to increase performance. The challenge though, is that it's really hard to ingest it, right? Hmm. You, risk, you run the risk of turning your stomach into a science fair volcano, so it's sort of been about how athletes can hack ingesting this substance, which has you know come down to a lot of different wacky mm -hmm. ways to put it in yeah. and on your body. So you're using all these big words like sodium bicarbonate. We're talking about baking soda, right? Like this yeah. is in my cabinet right now. Absolutely, <laughs> it is in your cabinet as well. So <laughs> sodium bicarbonate is what we call a base. And this is where we get into acid-base physiology. Mm. So let's say you're running up a flight of stairs, okay? And all of a sudden your legs feel tired and you feel the burning sensation. That's probably lactic acid accumulation and it's accumulating at a rate that your body can't flush it out anymore. What people don't understand is sodium bicarbonate, we already have this in our bodies because our bodies love what we call homeostasis, which okay. is its happy place. It doesn't like to be at an extreme. So for example, our blood, our pH, it's, an, it's a scale of acidity. Our blood loves to be between 7.35 and 7.45. Anything above or below that is literally a medical condition. And I say this because you're running up those flight of stairs, you feel your, the lactic acid accumulation. Our bodies have a way that it already buffers that acidity. It's, called, it's literally called the bicarbonate buffering system. Interesting, so the thought of ingesting this or rubbing it all over yourself is that you can either delay or tamp down on the burn to perform at an even higher level. Exactly, exactly. And what you, what you said about our stomachs not being able to take it, the recommended dose is between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 grams per kilogram of body weight. And the reason it's not any more than that is because the byproduct of sodium bicarbonate to hydrochloric acid, our stomach acid, is CO2, carbon dioxide, mm. which causes bloating. And so if you take more than the recommended dose, most likely you're gonna have some severe side effects. This sounds like a dangerous line to play with, <laughs> comfort-wise. It wise. is, absolutely. Yeah, and this is something like, again, we've seen runners that are performing at a really high output level, a higher intensity will try to use sodium bicarbonate, but we're also seeing ultra runners start to use it. I'm curious yeah. if the evidence supports that because I think we actually have a, a tweet from ultra running legend, Killian Journey eating this yeah. sodium bicarbonate soup uh, during the ultra tour de Mont Blanc, <laughs> which is a 106 mile race. Yeah. You're running ideally well below lactate threshold for the yeah. 20 plus hours it takes you to circumnavigate Mont Blanc. So my question is how effective is this at these slower burning events versus these higher output events like a, a short yeah. cycling sprint? I'm glad you asked that Zoe. So I actually pulled a graph, if we can see it. I pulled a graph of the, the x-axis is duration huh. of an effort. The y-axis is power output. At the top, you see ergogenic potential. This means how effective is sodium bicarbonate during these durations? So basically, if we see anything below 30 seconds, the acidosis is so high that the sodium bicarbonate can't really, it can't really do much at that duration. But anything between typically 45 seconds to let's say five to six minutes of really high lactic acid accumulation, it'll help. So your ultra runner, unfortunately, I don't think it was really helping him. It definitely takes most of us more than seven minutes to run an yeah. ultra. Yeah. So it kind of seems like this is something people are really just experimenting with and maybe isn't totally supported by the research. Well, this is interesting. So I have to say climbers, I have not heard any of this in my circle of climbing and I climb with some real nerds. Could this work for climbing? So not for ultras, but when I'm thinking of like a hard project route, I'm going for a red point, I could be up there for maybe 20 minutes. And some mm. of that's gonna be like a really short but intense crux sequence. Like, could this yeah. work for climbing? If you decided to load at the proper dosage, mm -hmm. sodium bicarbonate, um, I, I would assume that it would help you for about the, your, your hardest seven minutes, let's okay. say. 
when lactic acid is at its highest. So now let's move over into, we need to put some stamps on these. So yeah. we need to put a stamp on PR lotion. PR lotion is a, it's a topical agent for sodium bicarbonate. Huh, right. It's used to, to um, literally pull the sodium bicarb into the muscles to counteract the lactic acid accumulation. Now, I did some, some research on this. I only found one study that said that PR lotion does work, mm -hmm. but that study was also funded by PR lotion. Ooh. So, and not only that, but there were only nine subjects. So I can't oh. base my, yeah. my conclusion off of one study. I did find another study that was the actual, actually the opposite of that as well. Hey. So um, my- Mixed it best. Yeah, so, so for the PR lotion, my stamp is snake oil, and another stamp is maybe, because I can't, I, I can't actually say if it works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now. But what about yeah. the soups and the like taking it in yes, orally? I would say that's absolute science. If you wow, are doing okay. a criterium, if you're doing, let's say, let's say an ultra run, for yeah. example, and your first five minutes are the hardest five minutes of yeah. the ultra run. Could happen. It could, it could, it could work for you. Absolutely. Huh. Well, I just want to let you guys know that I also can science. Uh, and I took <laughs> I took your facts and your measurements of 0.3 grams uh -huh. per kilogram. And if I were to dose appropriately on these <laughs> holiday sugar cookies, <laughs> I would need to eat 116 sugar cookies to get the correct amount of sodium bicarbonate yeah. in my system to then perform at my maximum level. What do you think? Is it science? Uh, well, unfortunately, Mo got called out on social. Okay, it's true. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> he did point out that in the process of baking, the chemical structure of sodium bicarbonate changes, thus making the benefits yeah. non-existent. But I'm still here to experiment to see yeah. what would happen to my body if I ate 116 of these things. Better get started. And then go up a flight of stairs. Then go up a flight of stairs. <laughs> so I'm going to go, I'm going to stamp science in progress. <laughs>